hello friends in this video i am going to discuss the data relationship okay now in this particular table you can see various attributes are there various uh, say gender and weights these two are the quantitative variables mathematics and english these two are the quant quantitative variables now we can establish relationship between two qualitative variables gender and weight we can establish relationship between quantitative and qualitative so gender with mathematics gender with english similarly we can establish relationship between two quantitative variables mathematics and english clear now data analysis using relationship observations so we can establish the relationship between two categorical data using summary table contingency table or using side by side bar plot similarly to know the relationship between two categorical and quantitative data we may use summary table or the side by side box plot similarly to know the relationship between two quantitative data we may use scatter plot or regression lines clear now first of all see where the data presents now you can see in the desktop in case study 2 folder we store one data file that is data r it is a text file now roll number gender weight mathematics english roll number 1 2 3 4 up to 12 gender male female male female okay weight under normal over over normal mathematics marks 1997 99 and so on english 77 70 87 so these are my so first of all we have to shade the working directory now to save to set the working directory just go to the session then set working directory choose directory okay desktop case study to select folder clear now first of all we have to fetch the data from that particular folder so for that you have to execute these two lines okay so data f read csv comma separated value file name is data dot txt separated by the comma header is there so we set header is equal to true and enter now you can see the data roll number gender weight mathematics english okay now to see the relationship between two categorical attributes we may use we may see the summary table so for summary table you have to execute these two lines now male female okay female male so male students are more than the female student if you compare the weights maximum student are normal okay if you compare the overweight and the normal weight similarly to know the relationship between categorical and quantitative variables we have to construct the contingency table and the bar plot for the contingency table we have to use these syntaxes these lines we have to execute these lines okay now you can see that it is a contingency table so male female okay so female students normal weight students are more as compared to the under and overweight now male student if you compare the normal and over so normal and over those are same same in number okay similarly we can uh, see the bar plot of that so if you execute the bar plot okay so we can compare we can compare with the zoom bar plot okay so it's a bar plot underweight male female normal male female over male female similarly if you apply transpose of that we will get different different figure okay male female underweight normal overweight now we can compare male are more overweight than the female okay now okay now to know the relationship uh, okay so similarly relationship between categorical and quantitative variables we may use similarly how to construct the summary table okay so for the summary table we have to execute these lines okay so we can compare the summary mathematics male mathematics marks we can compare male female mathematics marks okay 
minimum value we can compare quantile values we can compare median we can compare mean we can compare third quartile as well as maximum value so maximum girl student got maximum marks okay so maximum a girl student get maximum marks than the male okay similarly a female got minimum marks than the male similarly you can compare english marks so for you can see here male english marks and male female english marks okay we can compare uh, minimum values quartile one median mean third quartile and as well as maximum similarly you can see the box plot side by side box plot for the comparison for to know the recency right? so for that we have to execute this line so you can see side by side box plot of a male mathematics marks and female mathematics marks okay now these two are the outliers outliers means are data the data which are far away from the rest of the data you can see the minimum value minimum marks of male is much more than the q1 q2 q3 of the female marks so this indicates minimum marks q1 value q2 value and q3 value and this is the maximum value clear now next to know the relationship between two quantitative variables we may apply scatter plot for that so have to execute scatter to see the scatter plot so we have to execute these two lines so zoom okay now relationship between two quantitative variables mathematics marks and the male uh, english marks okay so these are the scatter a part of the scatter plot and this is a regression line now it is slightly negative okay negative in slope so through this particular scatter plot and regression line we can see the relationship between two quantitative variables okay and that is the end of this particular video thank you very much